Today we're making cell phones for our dolls. And we're making these out of items that you probably already have at your house or lying around, so they're completely made out of recycled material. Um, you can also laminate these if you don't want to use Mod Podge or glue. So you just take um, a cutout from a magazine that you've been sent or circular that you don't want, and you just cut out the cell phone. If there's a particular brand or model of cell phone that you want, you just could print that on your computer or print that at the library. And also, the libraries usually have Adobe Reader, so you could scale down a picture of your own cell phone at, to the size of your doll. I'm using Mod Podge. I also use some glittery glitter nail polish to make a shiny case. Um, you can also use foam board, cardboard, um, black cardstock, or recycled actual cards. And you wanna smooth everything out so everything is nice and smooth and you don't have any wrinkles in the paper because the newspaper paper is pretty thin. And you just mod pose those together or glue them together, decoupage, and then you have one piece. I do think cardboard would work better. A lot of people do use cardstock or foam board. And if you want to use cardstock in that color, you could use a couple pieces or you could use cardboard and um, colored in black, which would make it look more realistic. Um, my, the little phone I made, I made just um, a glitter case for it with um, my good nail polish that I got at the Dollar Tree that is very reliable. And um, it's, it's not hard, it is a little messy. And, um, and lamination would be quicker if you have a laminating machine, you could just cut them out put them in the machine, and then you, cardstock would be fine because it would thicken it up from the lamination process. And all of these were for flyers from local stores um, around Black Friday. So I've had these crafts sitting around in a while waiting to do them, but I just hadn't had the time, so now I'm making them now. Now these are um, for 18 inch Barbies, which you see in the background, or the regular inch uh, Barbies too, but the phones would be a little big. They were would be closer to a tablet size. And if you want an even smaller cell phone, like I said before, you can save a file on Adobe and scale it back because Adobe readers, even if you don't have Adobe, will scale things down very well. I've used it before. I usually use matte Mod Podge instead of the glossy I have. This glossy I bought at the Dollar Tree and they did not have matte at the time. I prefer matte for things that I'm making for the dolls because normally they're being featured in videos and if you have studio lighting, which I don't have right now, but if you do have studio lighting, it will it, the glare will be huge. And right now I'm making a tablet for the 18 inch doll. But yeah, I mean, it, the glare. So either there's also satin, which is semi-glossy, but not as glossy, gloss, and matte finish. And also, if um, I'm painting a doll, I would like to use matte, so there's not as much of a glare. So this one, because I want it to be a little thicker, and I, I don't have any cardboard right now, you can use cards because that is a little thicker than card stock. And um, you just have to match what you want to do. This green one that's plain, I'm going to use this. But then I'm going to put the card stock on the other side so it matches the other uh, tablets and phones. Again, you want to try to get all the wrinkles out. I didn't get all of them out in this one because I was trying to do it quick for the video because I am running out of memory on this machine. Um, I actually ran out of memory while filming this and then I had to delete a bunch of stuff before I could finish it. And 
and everyone has cards lying around that they don't need after Christmas time, and you don't want all, some things you want to keep, but most things you just need to recycle or upcycle in this case. And also you can use the front of the card and have like a fancy looking case. Like how the actual cases of iPhones and iPads actually are, they're pretty. So this is the card. And you want to get it all even. You don't want any uneven edges because it will make it look more homemade than it is. Of course, it's going to look homemade, which is why you like to do crafts. But these are great because you don't have to spend hardly any money. I think, you know, with everything, I've spent the dollar on the Mod Podge that I got at the Dollar Tree, and that was the only cost in this project. And I can use that on a lot of projects. And the Mod Podge is great because it's very quick drying. So if you're impatient like me, that is a huge plus in using that. And I'm going to put another back on it because I did have a little bit of not the green. I wanted the brown again, so I'm putting on another layer. And yes, card, um, cardboard would be quicker. You could just do the cardboard, um, color it, or put cardstock on the back or anything else that you wanted to put on there, and then you would be done. You just have to wait for it to dry. And you want to do the front, put on the back, wait for the front to dry, and then flip it over and do the, the other side. And you want to do that if you want to do it again. You don't want to put it down wet face down or face up. You want it to dry completely. And the shininess gets a little much. Like it looks fine when you tilt it a certain way, but bad when you tilt it another way. But that is because of how glossy it is. Thank you. Um, I hope you like this tutorial and I hope you subscribe. Thank you very much.